where the Hebrew Israelites would come out every week to prophesy the downfall of this kingdom called America. But first, we want to give praises to Yahweh. Ba'ashem, Yahushai. Double honors to the elders of GMS, and may uh, peace and blessings be multiplied to the Akiyam teaching out there in truth and sincerity. So we're going to uh, teach you about not having fear today. You know, in the name of the Lord. I'm going to start off with uh, 2 Timothy. Oh, we got 2 Timothy 1, 1 and 7. Second or first? I got it. Second. All right. 1 and 11. One and seven. All right, this is Second Timothy. It's one and seven. He said, "For God have given us not he's like it, for the power have not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind." Okay, so the Lord isn't gonna uh, speak up. Speak up. The Lord isn't gonna give uh, his uh, his uh, prophets uh, fear. of uh, teaching or going off Good. and um, you know just pretty much for anything because yep. like you know what I mean the Lord is here to comfort us he's here to give us the yeah. truth and wake yeah. us up yeah. and you know uh, and the only fear you should really have is towards uh, to figure out how about shit y'all was shot right? right that's the only type of fear that you should have right other things in this world, the most I really talks about, he does not give us the fear the spirit of fear, or you know, you said fear not that it can kill the body, and yeah, we can fear the, the person that can kill the body, and so he's really talking about the things in this world, all right? You shouldn't be scared of nothing in this world, you shouldn't be scared of nobody, all right? Because right. the things that's actually coming to America, well, uh, it's gonna be actually scary, all right? You're gonna be seeing death, famine, destruction, some things that probably would be able to shit my pants if I was in the world, all right? But yeah, hey, things gotta happen, all right? Like uh, Matthew's on uh, the 24th chapter says these things gotta come to pass, but the end has not yet come. All right? Just like you're both cutting off. Oh, no, that's good. Uh, that brings, that brings us to the next point I wanna go to, uh, Matthew uh, 10, 28. I got it. This is Matthew chapter 10, verse 28. It says, and God, it, it says, and fear not, just like it, it says, and fear not them which kill the body, but are not able to kill the soul. It says, but rather fear him which is able to destroy both soul and body in hell. Right. Right. Him that's able to destroy both uh, body and soul in hell is the Lord. Yahweh Ba'asham, Yahweh Shai. Alright, because you know the white man, the devil can't do that. I mean, like, he could, he could uh, deceive you into being uh, destroyed by the Lord, but uh, he, he can't do it himself. Okay, and then, can you read up on the other verse? Oh, uh, go up on the verse. Okay. 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 It says, uh, this is the verse 27. It says, What I tell you in darkness that ye speak in light. It says, And what ye hear in the ear that preach ye among the house housetops. Alright? Uh, at the top of the 28. Oh, top of 28. It's locked. It's locked. It says, And fear not them which can kill the body. But are not uh, but not able to kill the soul, but rather fear him which is able to destroy the both soul and body in hell. All right, so it said, fear not him which is able to uh, destroy the body. I mean, that's the point that uh, my brother here just brought up. Uh, you know, that's that's talking about you know fearing the things of this world, fearing right. the, fearing the white man, fearing all types of troubles that come to you. I think I know hell up too. But the Lord says, fear not that stuff. Because, you know, the Lord is spiritual. We spiritual. Uh, as Israelites, we spiritual. And, uh, you know, if you're, if you're with the Lord, you know what I mean? You're going to be a spiritual person and you're not going to fear the things of this world. And, uh, you know, I mean, if the Lord is if the Lord is with you, who shall be against you? Ah, right. If you guys remember where that's at, you can find it on the phone. I looked at the word hell. Bring it up. Yeah. This is uh the word hell. Uh, g g uh from the Greek, Giana. Giana. Uh, All right. It says uh hell is the uh, place of the future punishment called Giana. Uh, Giana of fire. This was originally the valley of Hitamon, 
southern from Jerusalem where the filthy and dirty animals of the city were cast out and bear and burned a symbol of wickedness in their future construction. All right, so that's basically, you know, uh, um, was an, um, a garbage uh, a garbage heap, all right? right. It, was, it was a place where you go and burn something, all right? Such as garbage, um, uh, 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 so uh, uh, the Lord was uh, basically, um, I mean, Yahweh Shah was basically uh, uh, Symbolically, symbolically saying uh, 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 hell is basically just it's not a place where you burn forever. It's just it's just basically punishment. All right. It wasn't talking about you know after you die and, and after you die and you did wickedness all your life you gonna go into the, the uh, pit of hell. All right. It was symbolic. All right. The hell is a condition. Mm -hmm. Yeah, hell is a condition like we're living in it right now. You know all the things that we're going through. In that's the thing that the Lord is telling you not to fear. You know what I mean? It's, uh, it's a, con a condition that we're in. There, there are uh, people that rule the world. You know what I mean? Called the elites. You know, and they're, they're a bunch of white men. The white men, according to the Bible, is called Esau. Another name they call them is Edom. Uh, the Bible speaks to the devil. It's talking about the white men. world they put us they put us at the bottom and they put themselves on top and they uh, keep us in a, a messed up state but like because right now this is their heaven this is our hill that's right it's like so that's why you know like the Israelites the, the so-called Native Americans the so-called uh, Latinos the so-called Negroes that's why we're going through so much and um, that's why we live out in the ghettos and stuff like that. And, you know, because the Lord, the Lord placed the, the Lord placed curses on us because we had sinned against Him, and so we, we have to go through our punishment in order to get back into the kingdom. So, so right now, this is this is our hell. And this is the white man's heaven. Pretty soon it's gonna be the, the, the pretty soon it's gonna change. It's gonna uh, when the Lord comes back, we're gonna be in our heaven, and the white man is gonna be in their heaven. I got that scripture that you quoted. Right? Uh, what shall we say? What shall we? Then say to these things, if God be for us, who can be against us? Right. Okay, so if a saying, if you're on the Lord's side, the Lord is going to protect you, who can be against you? The Lord is protecting you. If you're, if you're truly with the Lord. You know what I mean? If you if you uh if you're with the world, there ain't no protection in this world. I mean the I mean the white man ain't saved nobody. He never tried to. Right. Also, I got something real quick, man. Because because basically, man, the way you overcome fear, man, is through faith. Okay? And how do you build your faith up, man? Your faith comes by what? Hearing of the word. Okay? You build your faith up by hearing of the word. So that means you uh, the times that you're not out here on the highways and byways, you got time at the, at the house, man. You're supposed to be studying. All right? This is uh, 2 Timothy 2 and 15. He says, study to show thyself approved until the power... A workman that needeth not be ashamed, rightly dividing the world of truth. Okay, so if you our conversation is supposed to be in the heavens, man. Okay, so if you studying and studying the word, man, and, and, and truth and sincerity. Okay, you got Akim, you got other uh, brothers. We're blessed to have brothers in the camp, you know. So you got brothers that help you, man. You know, you got brothers out here to start accounts by themselves, man. And the Lord give gave them the increase. Okay, them brothers, the Lord, you know, but watching videos though, you get breakdowns. Okay, don't start studying the truth, man, and start coming leaning on to your own understanding, thinking that you got this super duper breakdown, man. You know, stay, stay, stay within the bounds of, of, of what the elders have already taught. Because the foundation has already been laid, man. You can't come back over here. You can't repay if, if, if the street has been paved, man, you look like a fool going back and repaving it again. You know what I'm saying? That's 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 crazy. Okay, if the work has been already laid out, man, stay continued in the same work that's already been done. Alright? Yep, I got a precept. Go ahead. This is a uh, 
Zechariah uh, 2 verse 7 it says deliver thyself O Zion that dwelleth with the daughter of Babylon which is America all right for thus said the Lord of hosts after the glory have ye seen him unto the nations that which you spoiled you for he that toucheth you toucheth the apple of his eye we just talked about the elect all right because right. the Lord don't care about nothing but the elect right, right, 144,000 one third. Yeah, man. If I can add this, man, black lives don't matter, man. Okay? Only the elect and the, uh, the elect of Israel matters, man. Yep. And you know, fuck, fuck black lives, man, because thus said the scriptures, two thirds of black lives are going to fucking be put to death, man. Yep. Yep. And I say that because, you know, uh, being in this truth, man, you shouldn't have nothing to fear about, man. If you read the scriptures, man, and, and, and you believe and you're hoping you're part of that elect, man, hey, the Lord got you, man, all right? Hide behind these scriptures, all right? Go ahead, bro. Isaiah 35, verse 4. Okay. 35 and 4? I got it. Okay. This is Isaiah, chapter 35, verse 4. It says, Say to them that are of the fearful heart, Be strong, fear not. Behold, your God will come with vengeance. Right. Even God with a recompense, he will come and save you. All right, that's talking that to the elect. Mm -hmm. All right. And it says, say to them of a fearful heart. Yep. Usually the ones of a fearful heart is the people that are still stuck in the world. That's right. You know, because the world, um, the Lord comes to save you. That's how the Lord saves you out of it. He sends out his prophets to uh, to teach you to, to not be fearful anymore. Because you know, out there in the churches, they don't teach you not to fear the uh, not to uh, fear the things of this world. And what it they says, fearful heart, really, it's not really talking about brothers, right? Yeah, because you got some brothers that's actually that come that's new into it and doesn't have much much faith as other brothers. Do. Or some brothers probably you know scared of that. You know, and that's why you, you know have another brother could come you like, bro, man. I mean, don't be fearful for that, man. Because guess what? If you die, guess what? The Lord's gonna raise you back up again. So, 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 bro, you ain't really got nothing to fear about. Right, right. Because, uh, back to the scriptures again. Let's say the scriptures, man. It says, uh, absent some from the body, man, present with the Lord. Yep, yep, okay, so right. we don't fear, we don't fear death neither, man. Yep. Then it you says know? what? The dead shall rise first. Come on, brother. Right. Yep. Yeah, it's a, it's a good thing to die, actually. Because, hey, because that's right. Matter of fact, yeah. See. Go ahead, brother. Finish your point. You might be trying to say the same thing I was going to say. It's a good thing to die because, you know what I mean? Like, when you're in this world, you go through so much hell. And you know, what we've been talking about earlier, that, you know what I mean? Like, when you die, you're at peace. Right. You know, when you go back to sleep, you're at peace. And, uh, right. you know, being born, you know, is a bad thing because you got to... That's why babies cry when they're born because they know that they've, they've uh, entered into hell, to, right. the, to, to this condition. Right. I see. Uh, Good job. Punishment. That's the spirit. That's the spirit. That's exactly what I was about to say. You know, everything is turned upside down in this kingdom, man. You know, you got babies born, people rejoicing, man. Okay, but you read it, Job, man. Job cursed me, cursed me the day that I was born, man. Okay, babies are born in this world, man, because they're coming back to, into this judgment again, man. They're fresh out of the, the spirit world, man. So they're, they're, they're crying, man, because they back in this, this hellhole, man. Okay, but when you die, you're supposed to rejoice because that that soul is going back to the Father. Okay, that's why that's why this thing, everything is said in great dignity in America, man. Because niggas don't want to do shit with party and bullshit. Okay, but when the missiles start hitting this place, man, and martial law troops is running up and down the streets, then it's gonna the Lord said he's gonna laugh when your fear come upon you, man. He's gonna laugh. We're gonna laugh, man. Okay, because we got knowledge. We got knowledge of the scriptures, man. Uh, and, uh, and Isaiah says, man, wisdom and knowledge should be the disability of thy times. Okay? So he, so he says, uh, he says to the prophets, he says to say to them, be strong and fear not. Behold, your God will come with vengeance. It says, behold. You know what that means? Like, watch. Your, your Lord will come with vengeance. That's right. Even with a recompense. He will come and save you. All right, so he's he's gonna uh, reward to them that harmed you. 
he's gonna he's gonna uh, he's gonna pay it back to them that hurt you. Okay. The Lord said vengeance, man. That means hey, some some somebody was uh fucked over. If the Lord got vengeance, that means somebody was fucked over, and, and the Lord has come back to pay them back. All right. So why about uh, uh, so why is all this? God is good, and, and God would never do no evil. Talk uh, not talk is everything. All right. Goes to what I was saying, like when when this the time is gonna shift and it's gonna be our time to rule and it's gonna be their time to uh, you know to go into slavery and to suffer time. You got some? Oh uh, yeah, I had a little thing back on uh, you know the baby thing. Yeah, this is uh, Ecclesiastes seven and one. It says a good it says a good name is better than precious ointments and a day of one's death. It says, in a day of death, then the day of one's birth. It says, a a good name is better than precious and than precious ointment. All right? It said that, that good name is basically, you know, um, talking about uh, uh, you know, you know how people saying don't don't ruin my reputation. All right? And it says, then precious ointments. And the day and the and the and the day of death than the day of one's birth. Alright, so the day you know the day of your death is better than the day of birth. Alright? Like the brother was saying, man. Isaiah 10, 41. I mean Salaki, Isaiah 41, 10. Got it, son. Yeah, I got it. This is Isaiah chapter 41, verse 10. It says, Fear, fear thou not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am thy God, and I will strengthen thee. Ye, I will help thee. Yea, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. Alright. He will uphold you with the right hand of his righteousness. Everything the Lord does is righteous. If the Lord were to, you know, uh, were to torture me, I would call it righteous. You know, I, I deserve it. You know what I mean? Because, you know, the Lord created us all. You know, how can how can the Creator not be righteous Himself? How can you follow a God that's not righteous? A lot of people like to say that uh, that all we do is preach hate and stuff like that. But you know, hate is in the Bible. That's right. Yep. Hate is all over the Bible. Slavery is all over the Bible. Uh, punishment is all over the Bible. It says, uh, it says, I mean, for those for those people who, who think that they're they're the ones that truly have the fear because they're not in the love of the, of the, the scriptures. They don't have the love of the Lord on them. And that love is in statutes, laws, and commandments uh, in John and Job and in John. Because right. right. he says, if you, if you, uh, he said, if you love me, keep my commandments. I think that's uh, John 15. Second uh, John 1, I believe. Uh, yeah, you want to get it? Yeah. Uh, this is 2nd John 1 and 5 It says I beseech And now I beseech thee Lady as As through I wrote A new commandment unto thee But that which we had from the beginning That we love one another And this is love That we walk after his commandments This is the commandments That ye had heard From the beginning Ye you should walk in it. That's right. Alright, I got a precept for that. I'll get it. John 15, 10. I got you, bro. St. John. Yes. St. John. Yeah, oh, I'm going to start at 9. I got it. Got you. John 15, verse 9. As the Father hath loved me, so I have loved you. Continue ye in my love. If ye keep my commandments, ye shall abide in my love. 
even as I have kept my Father's commandments and abide in His love. Okay? He said, right. keep my father's uh, love. He said, keep my father's love. Yep. Yep. He said, keep my father's love. All right. Keeping that love is keeping the commandments. I already have my father's commandments. Yep. Abide in his love. 11. These things I have spoken unto you that ye might joy, that you may joy. My. Oh, slug you. These things have I spoken unto you that my joy might remain in you and that your joy might be full. 